I can't date a Nigerian guy. Nigerian guys are too stingy. Never. Deserve. I can't date a Ghanaian guy because they can't speak good English. I'd rather be a gay than to date a Nigerian girl. Ghana guys will just be like, I can't date a Nigerian lady. People will see their teeth and their flag the drag color. Deserve. I'd rather take rat poison than eat Nigerian so-called jello. Ah. Oh shit. Oh, shit. I rather die than eat anything that comes from Ghana. Design! Sale, I rather eat raw egg than stay in Niger Nigeria. Why you I rather live in the forest than stay in Ghana. I rather hear to shout all the music than to hear we scan the video. Music. Only the video Instagram follower is more than all Ghana artists' total music played. What people are thinking about this? Ghana and Nigeria. What do you think? What is your thinking? What comes into your mind when they say Ghana and Nigeria? What comes into your mind first? Leave it on the comment section and let listening to our uncle, our brother, and our father. Let's continue. Yo, Mr. Manager, <clears throat> thank you for your channel. I greet each and everyone listening to me on your channel. And thank you also, Mr. Manager. Mr. Manager, I watched one of your videos uh, today. One of the U.S. Mi uh, missionaries who traveled to Ghana after when they returned back to uh, U.S. and they were sharing their experiences in Ghana when they came to Ghana. And later on, the analysis that you were giving was that why is it that all those white people when they come to ghana and they return back all their experience that they gave is always positive but the others from your place they always give negative yo mr manager is it when i have the uh, the compliment the the compliment that you gave i was very very happy i was very 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 happy you see the missionaries who came to ghana they came with clear minded they came with clear minded they didn't come with any wicked minded and when they came there, because they came with good minded, we gave them good reception. You see, when you come to someone's country and the person gives you welcome, you have to also try to be what? Try to bring a good character to the person. But you don't show the person a bad character. When you do that, then the person is going to give you a cold reception. But the problem is, the reason why your people can never talk good about Ghanaians is that they are not doing the good things in the country they are doing the evil things the majority the majority they are doing the evil things in the country so when you come to someone's home and you do evil things and the people don't like you and they are also mistreating you how would you say a good thing about them look what nigeria even nigerians are even doing in ghana ghanaians are not even mistreating them they they ha we have never started it even at all like the way the south africans did to them we have never even started even an inch to nigerians but if we start it 
that one they will put their hands on their heads they will cry ma 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 nigerians nigerians are the people who create problems for themselves when they go to other people's country in italy they don't want to rent apartments to nigerians because when they are rent apartments to nigerians then they will bring a lot of people in the room in the house they spoil the, everything in the house even for job for job in europe even sometimes it is a problem to them even in germany here to, to for a nigerian to even to rent an apartment is also even a problem it's a problem why the, i sh gave you a video about three days ago and you put it also why is it that the germans were saying that all the criminalities in germany here are done by the nigerians and because of that they want to take their uh, citizenship uh, their um, their naturalization uh, passport away from them why if you go to rome do what the romans do don't put the laws in your hands and do whatever you like in someone's country when you do that you will never feel happy for yourself you will never feel happy for yourself you know these missionaries i know them even when i was in ghana before 80s when i was in ghana what they used to be coming house to house sometimes they even used to come to me <clears throat> they are like the jehovah witnesses people when they come they would like to uh share the word of god with you when they come and they see that even you are you are too kind to them when they are going even they don't want to go there's you, even when you have prepared something uh, in your home and you you ask them to come and eat they, you see that they will sit there they will eat with you they used to be coming to our house eating all the time with my father and my father will never 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 even invite a nigerian to come and eat with him never my father never liked nigerian never never because my father knows that most of them are very wicked my father knew nigerians very well may, may he so rest in peace my father knew nigerians very well why why is it that most of the people many countries are ignoring nigerians why is many people ignoring nigerians why why you just ask yourself you know your people are too you know they are too weak ah, God, my, i can't say it i can't say it i can't say it it's too much why are you people not a human beings or are you from a different planet why why only what nigerian people nigerian people knows is money 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 and the way they find to get their money is not the right way it's crime it crimes crime. why kidnapping computer frauding do this that do the 419 this is a, a counterfeit uh money doing all the buying land what is what are all this what are all this 
if a nigerian man is coming to buy something for from you you have to be very careful because the money that he is having might be a counterfeit might be a counterfeit you see they brought many counterfeit in ghana and they were arresting many of them too there you are living there and you know i'm not lying you see so with these people how can they go back to their country and say something good about the country that they they, 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 uh, they visited because all what they brought to that country was evil things so they will never return back and say something positive about that country no 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 they will never do it they will never do it you have been showing many white people living in ghana how they are talk talking about uh ghanaians how they are talking peaceful about the country this is why why they always talk good about the country but only nigerians always talk bad in africa the only african country who talk bad about ghana is nigeria and this country will tell someone that you, uh, they and ghanaians we are one idiots ghanaians never like nigerians and we will never like them because of their wickedness and they will be telling us that we we have a uh, culture similarity ghana doesn't have any culture similarity with you nigerians when it in terms of food in terms of uh club in, te in terms of language even language we don't have anything with you and the english language is not ours the english language is an official language which we were colonized by the british colony even you people have the way you speak your english and we Ghanaians also we have the way we speak our english the accent from you and ours is different the way you speak your english is different from is different from how we speak our english huh then how, how would you go and say stand somewhere and, and tell somebody that we, ghana and nigeria are one? we can never be one no we don't like you people we don't like you it doesn't matter because a wicked person i can never be a, a, a friend with a wicked person whereby a wicked person will come to my country and kidnap my, uh, uh, people in my country how can someone who loves me come to my country and kidnap people and kill them for rituals and r doing robbery huh if i like you do you think I will come and take your, your 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 daughter and kill your daughter because of money? No. You are a heartless person, wicked-minded person. This is how Nigerians are. This is how Nigerians are. Ghanaians can never, never, never be together with uh, 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 We can never stay together. Never. You people will definitely go out from Ghana. We will rouse you like a, 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 a rapture. You see? Do you think we are too stupid to be always to be talking and uh, giving those kind of uh, loud voice on uh, Mr. Manager's uh, uh, YouTube channel? It, is, it shouldn't happen like that. Look how insult you people are insulting Ghanaians on, uh, on, uh, on YouTube.
whereby you are living in, even in the country how can some a, a foreigner living in someone's country be insulting the person how can you do that then you will be telling Ghan when the Ghanaians are replying then you people will be coming you some of you Nigerians pretend 419 on pretending 419 on the uh, on the uh, YouTube sending making audios to Mr. Niger telling Mr. Niger that uh, Mr. Manager that uh Mr. Manager look at my uh, my brothers we are not like that this is it look you see that even you are making 419 for mr manager you people are creating 419 to mr manager to put it on his uh, uh, audio clips a nigerian pretending he is a Ghanaian and speaking and he will be telling the we Ghanaians that uh, uh, mr manager that mr manager i can me i cannot speak english you don't speak English, you speak work. What English now? What's it then? Ghana, in Yanko school. If it is Ghana that you come from, is it not English that you you, you, you learn in a uh, at school? Didn't you learn uh, English at school? And you are coming to tell Mr. Manager that you, you cannot speak English, you cannot speak English, you can speak what because you, you the english that you are speaking you cannot flow like Ghanaian english so now you are telling me stand <laughs> you are telling me some manager that you cannot speak english what about them damn twat go and advise your people that what they are doing in ghana they should stop then we will we will be very quiet other than that, you'll be hearing our voices on Mr. Manager's channel. Shegina down to the war. We can yes, we are not we are not soft, eh? Like how you people see us. We are not soft. Look at now, many, many uh, ladies has opened uh, has come to Ghana and they have opened youtube channels and always ghana and niger anything that they will be talking is about ghana and niger are you people stupid or what what are you people and what they will be speaking to it's not sensible there's no sensible in it there's no sense in what they they are speaking always comparison compare what, what are they doing there Huh? and when they are talking to they say african giant then they, they mention nigeria's name and uh, african giant my foot you are african giant in criminal in crime it is only that you are african giant apart from that you are you are nothing you are nothing if you are african giant go and stay in your country and do your youtube and call yourself africa giant don't come to ghana and do your youtube and call yourself africa giant under our foot do you think we 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 can we, we are mugus huh do you think we, we are mumu like the word that you people use mumu mumu? Do you think this is how we are? Eh? The day we will strike on you, you people will see how it is. You people will see how it is. It will take you like a rapture. Look, I'm living in Germany. I have a Nigerian friend. I have a Nigerian friend. I have a Nigerian friend. And if he is here and I'm talking, he will never even say anything because he knows how his people they are. He always advises me from his people. If there are 10 Nigerians here, two of them will be clean. The age remaining is shrack. They are all bogus. 
they are all bogus my dear sisters and brothers in ghana please take this notice never rent houses to these nigerians anymore never rent houses to these nigerians anymore in the country the women the so-called women doom the ghanian women doom who are giving themselves to the nigerian men sleeping with them and they are kidnapping them be very careful nigerian men are not kind of people that you have to you people have to give yourselves to them they are totally damp Nigerian, only few out of 100%, only 2% can marry foreigners. Out of 100%, only 2% of them can marry foreigners. And even those 2% who can marry you, the, <laughs> the stress that they will give to you, you yourself, you will regret. Me. I'm living in Germany and I know Nigerians more than you Ghanaians living in Ghana. I know them very well. I know them very well. You people have to take them out from the country. Otherwise, you people will never f find your peace. Anytime we are also coming, we are coming to do the same thing to them. That one is called Aluta. Because anytime we are coming, we are coming to demonstrate hard to them. We will go to the flat south. We are going to tell the president we don't need those echo that echo was and we don't need the Nigerian the Nigerians in the country. They should drive them out. Otherwise, any president who would like to be a president, he was, we are going to vote against him. It is Ekufuado who has uh, brought all these problems to uh, to Ghanaians because he, uh, the ex-wife was a Nigerian. And we cannot tolerate that stupidity anymore for these Nigerian people to be killing our lovely brothers and sisters no way it won't happen anymore we are going to massacre them boot for boot more than even what they did to the more than what the south africans did to them when south african was doing those things to them i was saying i was in germany i, I was saying that ah, why should the south africans uh, do this to the nigerians we were, oh, eh, most of we Ghanaians here in Germany here, we were talking about it. Meanwhile, what the attitude they brought there was, was very bad. If they tell you what they were doing there, my God. Now they brought it to Ghana, we have seen how they are. now kenyans kenyans are also they are also crying they want to drive all of them away from there why is kenya also driving them also from there because of their attitude why uganda too why gambia too why gambia too Naniyama. You see, so Mr. Manager, these people, your people will never, never speak good about the, the Republic of Ghana. No. Why? Because they don't come to the country with good hearts. They just only come there to destroy and go. They just come to the country to destroy, to get something they need and go back.
did the Americans came to Ghana to uh, de to destroy uh, 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 Ghana and go back? Did the Jamaicans came to Ghana to de destroy uh, Ghana and go back? No. When they come, they try to do things peacefully. They never do any bad things in the country. When you go to the history, Jamaicans are most of the, they are also from Ghana. Because the names and even the food, everything that they eat is similar as Ghanaians, what we do. You see? And a Nigerian, they are, the Nigerians, they are, they are mouth. Nigerian will use even his mouth even to sell you. Oh, he can tell you, oh, Ghana, Ghana man, oh, me and uh, my bro Ghana man is my brother. Ghana, when a Nigerian man is doing this to you, be very careful, especially you, the woman. Be very, very careful. He will use his mouth just to, 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 to do some things to you whereby you will never even know what he is trying to do to you. Before you see, then your head is off. Before you see, your head is off. So the woman, the Ghanaian woman, you have to be very, very careful of Nigerians. These people are very, 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 very tricky people. He can even spend money on you, on you, on you. He can spend a lot of money on you, but the money that he is spending on you, he knows what he is going to get from you later. So he doesn't care. And later he will get more from you that he needs. Then you see that, yes, we didn't we didn't Never follow Nigerian Nigerians with their money because because you think he is having money because you think he is buying you this he is buying you that ha ah, before you see your head is gone before you see you have been used for rituals There are some sensible people living in Ghana for, uh, as the Nigerians. There are some sensible, only f some few people whereby they criticize their people of what they are doing. But not, they are not many. Few of them. Few, few of them who always criticize them when they see things going, the things that their people are doing uh, are wrong then they criticize them there is a woman having a youtube channel i think the woman is living in uh, in benin and i i love this woman this woman used to be uh, having ghana flag uh, ghana colors uh, ghana uh, colors with a uh, as a scarf on i love this woman I always watch this woman's channel when she brings a video. These are the type of people I try to follow them. There are some few Nigerians who are very, very, very sensible minded. People who are very sensible minded. But there are others. Shrak, the other is Shrak, is baller garbage, garbage. They said they have a society in a, in Ghana, and they are society. They should they should be very careful. The time we will strike on you, Nigerians. They should never never try to. Uh, uh, to make a, a meeting that they are going for, uh, they are going for apology. Idiots! When your people were doing this bullshit, kidnapping, and all those things, you people couldn't tell them what they have to. They should. You people couldn't tell them they should stop. Man, 
even they can no 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 it can never happen it can, it will never happen even nigeria must go in nigeria must go 1969 when we were driving nigerians one of nigerian man and the wife they killed their one year you know i think six months six month baby they killed their six month baby they used knife to open the stomach they used knife to open the stomach in 1969 nigeria must go one uh, one family the, the husband and the wife they killed one of the uh, of their babies six months or so they, they opened the stomach the stomach of the baby and they put gold bars gold bars and they they saw they saw it and they put the baby at the back of the the woman at the harbor tema harbor then someone uh, gave a hint that the woman going there with the baby the baby is dead the baby is dead they are having gold bars inside the stomach of the baby and the CIDs went to the woman and they told her that they need her in the private room and they brought her to the private room and they asked her what is wrong with the baby the woman was shaking the baby was dead they have killed the baby and put gold bars inside the stomach of the baby so they when they they, they check uh, the stomach then the stomach was being what operated so when they opened this they brought uh they call they brought the 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 um uh the baby to the Mapot clinic there they found out that it was a good bar they they brought the baby to the Tamapot clinic there and they they operated it uh, they operated the baby and they saw they saw that it was four bars of gold four bars of gold <laughs> what they did to this man and the wife my god so with this kind of attitude how can you live with these people look this is why i've been telling all you Ghanaians, you the, the the future generation you don't know them very well stay away from them and drive them away from the country otherwise what you people will they what they will do to you people you people will never feel happy because it is it is in most of them in their dna it is it, it is in their dna Ghanaians, my brothers and sisters you people have you people have to wise up and learn something from what we are saying never rent houses to these people never rent houses to these people when they when you give your houses to them they always go go there to do computer fraud and one house about 80 people even can sleep there 80 people can even sleep there and only what they do is fraud and fraud when the person finish and you are going for for your house when he's he finished uh, renting your uh, your house and you are going for it before you see everything has been massacred and this is how they are when they are going away from your house they don't leave your house clean for you they have to spoil everything there before they leave this is how they are this is their life they will spoil everything in the house complete before they leave i was with a nigerian here i 
he was in my in my place here i was having a new two trousers that i bought expensive trousers some lean trousers the very very expensive trousers and i pick it from my back because i i bought it it wasn't a, a long time so i was trying to see whether i can wear it for a program so as i picked the trouser two of them and i put it in the bag again and the guy was about to leave when he was leaving so unfortunate the guy has stolen both two trousers away from my bag someone who i was even helping him he has stolen my two trousers away from my bag that is nigeria for you yes nigeria for you that is how it is helping someone and later on what he do to you that is how it is it's nigeria for you my people you people have to be very very careful you people have to be very careful and drive these people away from the country you people can never live with nigerians because even you people don't even know them they are wicked 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 ask yourself that do the nigerians even love themselves they never love themselves nigerians never never love themselves never they don't love themselves anyone who will tell you nigerians they love themselves the person is a liar who knows nigerians more than me oh my god they never love themselves they never love themselves <laughs> so they said a word to a wise is enough my brothers and sisters you people have you people have to wise up and drive all these people away from the country we will be coming very soon we will make a big demo a looter we will drive them all we will drive them all a looter big a looter thank you mr manager respect thanks a lot hello mr manager naja news good morning please 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 this is a little bit advice i'm giving to you please if you can change your dimension about the problem the program that you are doing it will be a better the reason is what nigeria and ghana we are doing complaining it will be a worse it will bring confusion it will bring problem it will bring division so please please my dear brother mr manager please change the topic about nigeria and ghana ghana and nigeria it will be a problem and it will cause a problem because it will be like a small fire now if we are not taking care it will make like a bomb so please if you can listen to my advice i think it will be a better so change the narrative from ghana and nigeria and do different kind of the program it will be okay because now you have a lot of supporters you have a lot of viewers you have a lot of people we are listening to you a lot but please 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 try and cancel these things please so that the peace will remain otherwise it will bring hatred because ghana and nigeria we are the same people but only the mentality is a different 
so please if we are explaining how nigeria people did to the Ghanaians, even i am speaking with you what they did it to me in senegal the capital town of senegal please my brother please they did a lot of things to me in dakar senegal capital dakar i stay with five nigeria brothers in one room together with me six people in the room i'm only one from ghana but i cannot go far to explain all this thing on this slide to you that's why i'm begging you to cut this thing change the narrative to different ways so that it will help us otherwise it will bring confusion hatred and the problem and the war even if it can create the war because the character of some of nigerians the attitude of some of nigerians is unbearable please please my brother i'm begging you to change from this ghana and nigeria and do different things so that the peace will reign because for me myself for me myself what my five brothers of nigeria did to me in senegal dakar if i try to explain to you you feel badly you feel badly but i forget i forget I can't, I, can't, I can't talk anymore, but I'm just making it a reference for you to know what I mean, for you to change the narrative. So please, my brother, I'm begging you, change this program from Ghana and Nigeria. You can show Ghana, you can show Nigeria, you can talk of Africa, you can talk a lot, but not this kind of the war, the hatred, problems, it will bring the war. If you are not stopping it, at the end of the day, it will bring war between Ghana and Nigeria. So please, Ghana deport Nigeria, Nigeria deport Ghana, one by one. It's a fair play. There's no problem anymore. Now, the children that they, came, they come, the children that they come nowadays, they don't know anything about it. So please, let us forget that and focus on different things please because it is no good it is no good some of nigerians attitude that they show towards to the Ghanaians. if we explain it my brother you feel bad i stay with nigerians five brothers i know i get my brothers in senegal we speak the same english so i know i get my brothers i can stay with them they rent the house not me they rent it but they take me as a brother for me also to live with them so that we can share the apartment we share to pay we do everything together we cook we do everything at the end of the day they stole my money and ran away to Cape Verde. they stole my money for me to make a stranded in senegal before i managed from senegal to ghana it takes me more than one week it takes me more than one week before i beg the trucks i sleep outside without food because they take they took all my money and run away and leave me some of nigerians the boys some of nigerians the guests the attitude i don't understand i don't know the food that they are eating if we are saying we are explaining we continue about this bragging ragging bragging bragging it will bring war so my brother i'm begging you let us stop this and focus about the future and we plan how it will help us to grow in peace there's no more to say mr manager please this one is between me and you this one is between me and you i stay with nigerians from ghana i stay with nigerians mali burkina senegal italy spain uh, germany denmark everybody knows how nigerians they act how they behave everybody knows on this earth 
the whole world so please if we are not stop this it will bring hatred it will bring confusion it will bring war at the end of the day so please my brother let us change this narrative and focus about the future because the past is past the new generation that we are in they don't know anything about deportation beating killing whatever so please those who are staying in ghana they should stay in ghana in peace with our mothers with our sisters not to raping them not to insulting them not to, to do any because you my brother i will end this my message here so we will talk later take a good care of yourself bye bye I send my greetings to all the family ciao this thing can only be stopped when the nigerians stop attacking ghana or stop insulting Ghanaians. that is when this thing can stop okay let me give you an example when you make a content the content said no even talk anything about nigeria maybe you are praising ghana maybe you are talking about goodness of ghana you will see a lot of nigerians on under that comment section insulting you why ghana is not that that ghana is not that ghana is not the now when you see that who is coming for you nigerians are the one coming then when you you started talking about it people will see it like you are the one talking no you are not the one talking they are the one coming i don't know if you understand they are the one coming and again also notice something like this when you say nigeria insulting ghana you will see a lot of nigerians who be supporting that person that they insult ghana you will see them supporting being on the comment section busy insulting but let me give you a test go to t even on twitter go and try that thing go and post a video when Ghanaian is replying and see the answer the Nigerian going to give you will only see you will see Nigerians on that comment section or try comment you know you will only see them on your message bosses I'll give you an example like this you will see them on your inbox you will see them on the video attack you will see them on your inbox attacking you telling you hey, you should not do that but when their own sister or their own brother is attacking did they not see anything wrong about this? That is my question. That is the question I always ask him. When you see our own fellow Nigerians at insulting Ghana, did Nigerians not see anything wrong about it as a Nigerians? I keep asking the questions. But when you come talk, say what my people, Nigerians, are doing is wrong, then you won't see a Nigerian coming to that comment section and reply, comment to. You only see them on your inbox like the way as i sold you that is how it normally be but i have nothing to do if nigerians stop oh of course we'll stop it but i know on this generation come and pass nigerian can never stop it then we'll be the one to come and then we'll be the one to also complain it. and then we'll be the one to suffer it that is it god bless everybody my name is masimani and if you want to reach out to me Oh, sorry, I still have a lot of video, uh, audio voice to play. But that one will be another, another in, an, in the, my next video. God bless you and bye-bye for now. Enjoy your day. My name is Master Manager Thank you.